Alright guys, I'm going to give you a, a quick rundown on how to get Teensy working on Linux. Uh, just going to go over some of the problems I initially had. So if you go to down, you go to this uh, PJRC website, you click on the Teensy USB development boards, and you scroll down, and you're going to need two programs. You're going to need the Teensy Duino and the Teensy Loader. So if you click on Teensy Loader here, it'll bring you to this. Now this is the application you want. You go to Linux, click this, and download it. The program actually looks like this little picture. Just it's a little bitty, a little bitty window. And then you click on TC Duino. It gets you get you over to here, and then and then you just go to click on this software add-on for Arduino and that gets you to here now this is uh, this is the actual program in this picture so you would click on whichever Linux you got 6432 now uh, it says right here that it, it only works with uh, up to 1.68 Arduino IDE and uh, mine, when I, I when I ran this, it said that right here where this text is too. So you gotta be careful about that. So I was running one one point six point nine Arduino IDE. So I had to go back and download the previous version, the one point six one eight, because uh, that's what this is compatible with. So I got that installed. So so you've First, you download Teensy Duino from here, and the Teensy Loader from here, and then uh, you open those files with your uh, your archive manager, and you extract them. And uh, I like I put my loader application into the folder into my Arduino IDE main folder so it's easy to get to and then I put and then I and then you just gotta run this uh, this Teensy Duino program so neither one of these had uh, executable permission when I download them so uh, after I extracted them so you've gotta give them execution permission and uh, I'm not sure about how it works on your computer, but on I got Linux Elementary, so here's the TNC.64, which is the TNC loader. I just right-click, go to Properties, go to More, and then I can click on, since I'm the owner, I can click Read, Write, and Execute. And I can give them permission that easy and not have to do anything out of the terminal. <clears throat> so I'm not sure how you would do it if you ain't got that function on your Linux. So once you got them executable, you can run the program. So if you run the, the Teensy Loader program, you just get this little window pops up and it's got this little picture on it. And... Uh, once, but first you gotta run the Teensy Duino. Well, you don't have to run it, do it first, but before you can do anything, you gotta run this Teensy Duino. You get this page pops up. You hit next. You won't have this page because you're running Linux. Then you get to this page. Choose Arduino location to install Teensy Duino. So uh, basically, you just choose your main Arduino IDE folder here and then hit next and then it'll ask you if you want to install libraries I just installed all of them and then that runs and then and then you're done with that part so you got this part ran and you can go in after this is all installed then you can go into your Arduino IDE 
and uh, the teensies will be listed in your uh, in your list of boards and uh, you should be able to open this you should be able to run this and have this little window pop open now the part that doesn't get explained very good which I wanted to show everybody it took me a while to figure this out so you go over here it says download this and then it says uh, it says install to Linux only install undev rules and it says the undev rules rule file gives non-root controller permission to, to to the device and then it tells you to run this right here in your terminal well it doesn't give you a good enough uh, instructions on that so I had to figure out the hard way so right up here it says Linux undev rules and if you click that you get this page right here and it really doesn't tell you what to do so what you really got to do is you get to this page now it is right hand corner here Linux undev rules click that get to this page copy this whole page and then you uh, go to whatever application you have on your uh, on your see I got the scratch pad but you want to text you need to create a new text document you create a new text document and you paste this text into the new text document and you rename that new text document 49-teensy.rules you make that the name of the new text document 49-tc.rules so now you created a new text document that you pasted all this this text into and you named it 49tc.rules and then you take that text document and then you put it into your uh, you put it you put it into your main folder for your Arduino that's compatible with this stuff and you just stick it right there in the main folder and then you go to your terminal and you just copy and paste well I copy and paste this one right here the sudo cp 49-tc.rules the etc and that worked just fine for where I had put the file which is in the main folder here and it, it gives you an alternate place the lib but that's where I put it and this is what worked and you'll know it worked you, you'll know it didn't work if it says file not found after you put that in your uh, command line your terminal and if it does work it just won't say nothing so if it doesn't say nothing it worked if it says file not found then it did not work now once that once you get that set up and working then where is it then this program here this uh, loader the green arrows will actually light up will be colored before I could get that part to work uh, these were just gray the arrows were gray but this auto thing this round auto thing would light up so uh, yeah once you get uh, this part all figured out and working then the the arrows will turn green and then you'll be able to actually upload programs to your board and you do that by you you click ver okay let me get it let me do it all for you here so uh, you open your Arduino you open your uh, you run your uploader program so here's my uploader program I don't have my TNC plugged in let me plug it in real quick get it plugged in and it says right on the front press the button so I gotta press the button buttons pressed now my lights are turning green here or my arrows are turning green 
So if I want to run this Blink program, go to Tools, TNC, set up my board, TNC 3.2, port, uh, you don't set your port, I guess, because this this port here is my keyboard. The Teensy isn't even showing up in my port, so don't even worry about that. And then you don't upload, you just hit verify. And once it's verified, it just automatically uploads it. So it'll automatically upload the program once it uh, the Arduino IDE ver com finishes verifying it. Now you can click this auto button and it'll turn up. It won't automatically upload no more. So uh, see now I've got my my lights blinking at every four seconds. So so that's how you do it. Uh, that was the this part right here I, I just I couldn't figure out because everybody said you had to download these rules well there's nothing to download here you you create a new file you copy and paste it and you name the file 49 teensy rules and then you put this in your terminal so that's how you do it hope this helps you all right later